Hey, I'd love to share with you what's coming next in terms of the UI rework for Pepot 2.0. Just watch and enjoy the following video. So the first change that you're going to be uh, seeing is the ability to enjoy Pepot 2.0 uh, using different themes. So we have a light theme and a dark theme now, and you can activate it uh, different ways. So here I'm going through this menu. This is just one of the options you have, and you can just switch here to light theme, and you can use a keyboard shortcut like Alt M here. You can do that and toggle, but of course you can go to settings, and uh, here under UI theme, you have the uh, two options that we, we have right now. Uh, but you can see it also applies to the dashboard. You can still toggle it. Keyboard shortcut works everywhere uh, on Pampod. I would like to uh, comment on the structural changes. There's one very obvious, which is the fact that we moved the toolbar from the left pane here um, to the uh, top center. Uh, location. So it was here before and now you can find it here. Uh, moving it to the upper part of the canvas allows us to have better access to it. There is less um, distance, you know, um, between the toolbar and the place where you are actually uh, having some impact with it. So, and also it allows us to gain more horizontal space, which is always very appreciated when you are building super large files. So it might just be a few pixels, but it really matters a lot when you have those massive um, designs. Like you can even um, save some of them if you collapse uh, toolbar. The same pattern applies to the color and typography toolbar, bottom toolbar. You know, works the same. So that's very nice. And then you can use the keyboard shortcuts. The next important change is that we have, uh, we can call them dedicated panels. For example, I have here a component and you can see to the right pane that we have a lot of information. But now if I click the right pane, react to whatever contextual information makes more sense. Um, this also applies to grid layout. Uh, let's just build a very quickly, uh, very simple grid CSS layout. And here, Pempot is reacting to what we believe is the most useful contextual information and actually changing and editing um, aspects. When I exit, I, I have my default right pane, which is trying to convey as much information as possible um, when there is no such thing as a zoomed in um, interaction. Another thing that we wanted to uh, to share is this, um, it's the, the fact that we have reduced the cognitive load to make the UI cleaner and more accessible. This is more of a polish uh, effort where we have collapsible listings, uh, overall the spacing, the arrangement of things, uh, the dimensions, all that we have made sure that it feels just cleaner, uh, less intrusive, um, all of that. There are improvements around image sizing, the iconography, uh, the typography, improving the reading, the contracts, the keyboard shortcuts. You can now navigate through the entire Pepper UI just using the keyboard. I can um, click, uh, press enter, and I can um, just go into a nested level and continue to use the keyboard. So this is just a small example of how we have rethought the whole UI. So it just feels when compared to Pimpot 1.19, um, just cleaner, uh, smoother, less, less convoluted. So this was a very necessary change. We hope that you enjoy the new UI. We think it's really beautiful. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh,